quite a long time but you guys know I was traveling and then a lot of events came up so a lot of vlogging was going on but uh, I'm back again I'm back with more videos I'm back with some spring some summer videos some lookbooks and stuff so that's gonna be up so yeah so today I'm gonna be doing the power of makeup challenge which you guys have read it on the top but uh, so yeah so um, I'm gonna do it on this side of my face uh, apart from this side of my face is only because due to the fact that I have some acne and uh, some allergies thing going on over here so I'm not going to be applying on this because I'm on medication so I'm not going to be applying on this side of my face I'm going to apply on this side of my face so yes and I'm going to do this makeup look which I did on the event which I did for FBB's Colors Family Miss India so you guys loved the eye makeup so I'm going to recreate that makeup on this uh, part of makeup challenge so you guys can see how I did it and what I did it which was really easy but so yeah so uh, if you like this video then make sure to click that subscribe button right there and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments tell me how you like this video and if you have any suggestions or recommendations feel free to write from it or any of my social media links i'll have them all in the description box below so yes um and so just so that my hair does not fall on my face so i have already moisturized my face so first thing first thing which i'm going to start off is with my concealer so I'm gonna put some concealer where I need and conceal some areas which I have some acne and some of the dark spots that I have so some of you guys were asking me what concealer palette that I bought this is the generic uh, pro conceal and correct palette which is in the shade number 03 so if you have a darker skin tone like me this is going to be the palette for you it has some um, lighter shades to the more darker shade which can be working as not only as a concealer but it can be as a uh, contour so I have used this darker shade as my contour and I have some used this other shades for concealing and for highlighting so firstly I am going to start off with my concealer itself so I'm going to take this darker shade right here this and this I'm going to be mixing these two colors I'm going to be applying it on my uh, parts where I need to conceal my face so just a little bit under underneath my eyes, I'm gonna just apply this color. So this is gonna correct and conceal some of the areas and dark spots which you need. And I like to use my fingers. So I'm using a, a concealer beforehand because I want my foundation to look very um, natural. So I'm just gonna do that on this this part of my eyes. fit and foundation which is in the shade 3, 330 toffee caramel so it's a dark it's a, it's a one which I it's for my skin tone and then I'm going to use this beauty blend this sponge which I got uh, and it has a curved tip on uh, it has a curved tip over here so it's really good and easy to get on to some places where you have curves so uh, yes yeah, so I'm going to use this sponge and I'm going to apply my foundation brow pencil and it has a brush tip over here so you can have a little bit of a brushing and thing going on so I'm just gonna fill my um, uh, br brows with it and I'm gonna just brush them through just 
make sure that you are very light on this part of your part of your eyebrows uh, and a little bit more on the center and then losing it up on the ends so it does not look harsh right just go with a very light hand with the, with the eyebrow pencil so any product it will be blended and product that it's a bit stark it will be blended away so yeah, so I'm done with my primary game and then we'll move on to my eyes. So I'm going to just conceal a little bit on my eyes, um, just a little bit so that my colors pop out a, a bit. So I'm just going to take some bit of a concealer. So I'm going to take this this uh, lighter shade and I'm going to just conceal my eyelids. And concealing your eyelids, if you have an eye primer, it's good. If you do not, then it's okay. It really doesn't matter. So then the next thing, the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a Maybelline Colossal Kajol, right? So I'm going to use, if you have any Kajol which is uh, which is dark, static dark, but it smudges away very easily, um, then definitely use that. I'm using this Maybelline Colossal Kajol. I'm sure you guys must have this in your wardrobe, uh, in your closet, uh, makeup collection, or even your mom will have it. So I'm going to use this. Um, this brown, the um, sorry, this black one, and I'm gonna just line my eyes, right? So I'm gonna just line my upper lash line with a very uh, kind of like a thick, thick eye line. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start rubbing, like not rubbing, but like smudging it in. If you want, you can use a, a brush. Uh, you can use a sponge to applicate a brush but I'm very comfortable with my skin my hand, fingers is because that has a bit of a work in it so it's gonna give you that good blend so I'm just gonna keep blending this in make sure that you are harsh on this and lighter on top right so just sm start smudging it in I'm just gonna take it away so I'm just gonna smudge it away like this and you'll know the exact shape when you start smudging you'll know the exact shape that what you want to create if you want to go a little bit on the darker side like on a, on a winger side then you can do that i like to mainly focus on the on the cut of my eyes so i'm just gonna do that same and try to keep blending it away make sure that you're using very light hands do not tuck in your eyes or something just make sure that you are and because you want to gradually fade this color and don't worry if it's if it does lighten up a little bit you can apply more and get that same color effect but the reason why I'm using Colossal Kajal as a base is because that it's gonna help that eyeshadow to stick onto and it's gonna be more vibrant because I'm creating a halo eye so it's gonna bring out that black more intensely rather than apart from just putting black eyeshadow so that's why I'm using a black pole Kajal as a base so I'm gonna take this brush I'm going to take this blacker shade over here and I'm going to just start on packing it just pack that color on the outer corners of your eyes do not and try blending it in right because we're going to go to the, the darker brown color as a crease color because it's going to look a bit more static if you don't so I'm just going to take this color start circular motion and just start intensifying the black that's that's the basic goal to intensify that black and same we're doing with one fourth of my eyes leaving this leaving this center part of your face uh, so the center part of your eyes apply it on your lower lash line too um, then the next thing which I'm going to move on is my main eyeshadow color. So I'm going to use this metallic color, this metallic bronzy color and mixing with this browner shade. So I'm going to mix these two brown and metallic shade and I'm going to pack this color. Do not rub that black because it's going to make your eyeshadow look blacker. Do not do that. Just pack this color on the center. Just pack it away. Do not rub it. Please don't rub it. Just pack this color. And gradually it's gonna build up so don't worry we're gonna build it up and we're gonna finish it up with a crease color so same uh, the more intenser you want the more color you're gonna pack I'm 
So since I'm done with the the I'm happy with the way that it's the, the colors has blended, I take a black. So I'm gonna use this black color. I'm gonna use this black color and since it's really 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 intense, I'm gonna take a little amount because it's really intense, like legit wait. I'm not kidding you guys. It's very intense. So I'm gonna just take that and I'm gonna be packing it in. Can you guys just see the intensity that it has created in just one stack? Same on the center. Just make sure that you, because this color gives a really intense feel. I'm gonna brush like this, and I'm gonna be highlighting under my brows and on the center part because since everything is going a bit more on the blacker side, I want some color, a little bit of a shimmer to pop, um, so that my eyes are because my eyes are very small. So after applying the smoky eye or doing the halo eye with black, it does make it a little bit more smaller. So I'm just gonna highlight underneath my brows. So I'm just gonna highlight underneath my brows. I'm gonna be highlighting under in the center part of my face. So in this in the inner corners of my eyes because I want this area to pop a little bit. So I'm just, just gonna take this white and I'm also gonna be packing this color a bit on the center, just a little bit. I'm gonna go over again with that same bronze color. I'm gonna be just packing over the color. Right? So this is with the eyes. Then the next thing is the eyeliner. So if you want, you can create a wing liner. If you want, you can create a if you want, you can create a wing liner. If you want to create, you can do anything with your eye. Um. Uh, there's one mistake that I did that I did not do that in the event, which was applying mascara. So can you guys literally not believe I forgot to apply a, a mascara and have really tiny lashes. So I'm not going to do that mistake again. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. Give them a few coats of good mascara. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes a bit. Give them a few coats of mascara. Don't. So I'm just gonna wiggle, 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 and my brush wiggle, 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 wiggle. So I'm just gonna. And mainly on the palette, I'm gonna use this darker shade light right here and then be concealing it under like on my cheekbones so I'm just gonna just right So I'm, I'm going to use the same um, blush right here. I'm going to be blushing my cheeks. And then the next thing which I, I'm going to just press this thing. And I'm going to just choose a highlighter. And I'm going to just on the top of my brow. brow. I love to apply a highlighter. And also on the, a bit, the center which I have left problems are uh, so the next thing the last step which is left is my lipstick so I have used a combination of lipsticks for that this uh, makeover make lip line the pencil I'm gonna be lining my lips and filling my lips with this color so it's a it's a very uh, plummy color so I'm gonna show you guys on this so it's a it's a plum color so um, I'm just gonna be lining half part of my lips brown shade, a very nude brown shade and I'm going to be applying it on this because I want to nudify a little bit. This is a very stark dark color for me. 
so this is done and then the next thing is just for everything to stay up for a longer period of time I have applied this liquid lipstick which I got from In Colors this is In Color uh, 415 um, matte made ultra smooth matte lip cream so this is done this is the makeup that I did on that event and this is the power of makeup challenge uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial that I did and I am so so uh, a bit like nervous how it's gonna look and stuff but uh, yes I just want to say that even if you wear makeup and even if you don't wear makeup it really hard it hardly makes a difference uh, for me at least like, you know I'm not a huge fan of um, doing makeup every day and I don't like to do my makeup every day um, so just make sure that you feel beautiful inside out even if you're not applying a makeup it's okay just go out have a chill because nobody cares man literally nobody cares so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I hope you guys learned these this eye makeup which you guys were raving about to do a makeup tutorial on so I have finally brought it in it so my mom my mom is so yes so I'm gonna um, have a leave and take a leave